Uh, so someone in, in the crowd either prayed for it to cool off or for me to keep my speech short. Um, so I'm going to try and go ahead and do that. Uh, last night, Timmy and I uh, were sitting around kind of talking about what we were going to say today. Uh, what we had on our hearts, what we wanted to impress upon you guys. But while we spoke about all these abstract thoughts about what Kona is, all I could keep thinking about was how blessed I am to be here another year with all of you. And also, how nervous I was that my situation as a PO would change my experience of Kona for this year. And it will be different. I've sort of gotten a peek behind the curtain, a glimpse to see all these wonderful adult leaders that kind of go behind the scenes and make this conference what it is. But there are still some facts and things that I'm not privy to. First off, how I can barely get up this mountain in tennis shoes and girls all week do it in four inch heels is completely amazing. <laughs> Spirit fingers for that. Uh, second off, that no matter how many people from Wisconsin we meet, we are still amazed when they say words different. Um, and run up to them and ask them to say something. It's amazing. <laughs> Lastly, and more, most importantly, how every year, from Friday or Saturday morning, excuse me, from Friday afternoon to Saturday morning to Thursday night at the fire ceremony, how we become a family on this night. How every one of us finds lifelong friends, whether it's in the southeast corner of Florida and the northwest corner of Washington. We find people that we connect with and that we want to genuinely be around. That's the Kona family. First year delegates, I welcome you to the family. Returning delegates, again, as Stephanie and Kate and Bob all said, welcome home. Um, this is one of the most wonderful places in the world. And I'm incredibly excited that this year I get to help in some way impact this kind of family. Um, lastly, I'd like to end with a quote, sort of a challenge for this group, uh, by President Eisenhower. Hard work characterizes a leader. Some turn up their nose. Some turn up their sleeves, and others don't turn up at all. You guys have already turned up. Don't turn up your nose. Let's turn up our sleeves and help make this the best conference that we've ever had. Now. Moving on to a few quick housekeeping notes. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is the dog love of, of the conference on national affairs. A lot of hard work goes into this book, and any question that you could have is in this. There's an index in the front, thumb through it, make sure you read it. Uh, any procedural questions you may have can be found. Um, also, any behavioral questions as far as behavior consequences can be found on pages 15 and 16. Um, anything that you can think of, please refer to your mountain manual first, and then go uh, go to ask questions uh, about you know, specific things to us with you second. Most of the things you can find are in that uh, manual. Um, secondly, the committee and GA for, uh, rules and procedures, uh, you can specifically find those in the mountain manual as well. Um, there are some differences between first, second, and third committee when you guys will be practicing today uh, and GA in play. So please keep that in mind and we will highlight those as the week goes on. Um, now, moving into proposal sharing groups, which we will, will, all of you will be going to as soon as we end the opening ceremony. Uh, proposal sharing groups are an opportunity for each of you to sit in a room with people with different proposals from all different aspects of government and ideas and kind of just share your ideas. It is not an opportunity for debate, nor is it an opportunity to slip in your political views or what a horrible idea you think it is. It is specifically a critique and a compliment to you, meaning your proposal is really good, I would work on sections X, Y, and Z, or I would be prepared for debate on sections one, two, and three. Um, it's an opportunity for you all to commune and decide upon uh, the, best, the best way that those proposals can move up the ranks. Um, lastly, also please refer to your mountain manual for any questions that you have on dress code. Um, anything you can find about that will be in the manual and that will be your final deciding uh, factor on that. Finally, before I turn the podium over, um, I'd like to talk to everyone, uh, expound a little bit on what I said about um, at lunch, about the word of the day, uh, no evidence. Meaning, all we should leave behind in any room or any building that we have been privileged to use on this mountain is our fingerprints. Uh, no trash, no binders, no books, no amendment forms, no nothing. Uh, 
we work really, really hard to keep this mountain beautiful. And as you can see, we're in this beautiful, beautiful area. Um, so let's make sure that we do our best to leave this place, if not as the same as we found it better. Um, with that being said, I would like to introduce the next presiding officer. His name is Ikuchuku. Um, <laughs> and no, uh, it will be impossible for you to pronounce his name. Um, but that's okay. Uh, he is one of the most eloquent speakers I know. Um, I find myself enamored sometimes with the words that he says. But uh, without further ado, uh, a relative of George Washington University, please represent your presiding officer, Ethan.